Knife dope. More dope. Come and get your fix. What's up, fuckers? Your boy's back with a fresh batch of dope. Knife dope. That's right, people. The hits don't stop. Tonight, we're going to be heading on over to Jersey. And Ricky Knives, Jersey, that is. And um, taking a look at the production version of that knife. Now, several months back, I had received the prototype, which was sent over to me from Mr. Nick himself. So big thanks to him on that. But I was very interested in the um, in the final version, you know. Sometimes a lot of things can change by the time they actually get to production. And I, I felt that it wasn't getting enough uh, enough of a shot out. And I, and I wanted to uh, take a look at it myself to, to see what the deal is because it looks really good to me. So I reached out to him and um, he had no problem sending it to me. So I'm thankful for that. He also went ahead and gifted me this coin. This is one of the coins that he does. Uh, he has his own CNC machine and he can do any pattern or any, any wording that you'd like. Quality is very nice. I think this is titanium. I'm, I'm, I want to say titanium or aluminum. I don't recall, but, uh, it looks great. feels nice. And, um, I thank him for that. He also went ahead and sent me unbeknownst to me. He sent me both versions of the knife. Uh, this knife is available as we speak. You can head on over to nriggyknives.com and uh treat yourself god damn it so we have one that is a bead blast finish and one that is a stone wash i will take we'll take a look at both of them but i want to check out the stone wash first uh but first if you do enjoy the content i'd ask that you would share like comment and most importantly subscribe god damn it it does help the channel it does trick that algorithm and it does help your boy to go viral okay enough of that here goes some specs for you guys to pause and read we're gonna go over it any goddamn way. So I guess uh, if you didn't pause and read, you're gonna you're gonna learn about it now. I'm gonna learn you right now. Okay, the OEM on this is Shielden. Now, up until recently, I really wasn't a fan of Shielden as far as their their knives go, but they have gotten a lot better since that whole Devo knives debacle, the Growler. I've seen some of their their models that have been coming out, and they look rather impressive. And no different here. This looks great. Fit and finish is uh, definitely, definitely come a long way since that growler. We've got these nice contoured titanium handles here, both sides. Um, frame lock apparatus is our locking mechanism. Beautiful stone wash finish on this drop point blade. Very. We have zero billboarding on the blade itself. We've got the uh, N-Riggy logo there on the pivot. That is the only only bit of billboarding that we have on the entire knife these are actually serialized uh the serial number is going to be on the inside of the backspacer and this is number 38 of 150 so i believe he did 150 of each fantastic action snappy little detent flies out comes right back to the house normally i'm not a fan of uh single deployment flipper only knives but when it's, when it's done well like this, I don't mind. I think I can, let's see something here. I think I can, yeah, you can actually reverse flick it as well. Uh, mill titanium pocket clip. We got T8 hardware all the way around. Uh, half length backspacer going up the spine of the blade, or rather the back of the knife, I should say. We've got a little bit of, um, not very deep, but very soft jimping there. Um, you can, I can get a full four fingers on the knife. If I uh, go ahead and do that trigger pull, I can get comfortably get all four. This is a nice size, man. Perfect EDC. Um, you can have one yourself, for, but they're $210 currently on his site. Uh, they will be hitting dealers at some point, and the price is going to be more than that. So now's the time to pull the trigger. Uh, we've got an overall length of 7.13 inches. Our handle length's coming in at 4.06. Perfect blade size at 3.08. Nice slicey blade here with the blade stock coming in at 188 thousandths. Uh, we've got that 20 CB blade steel in this drop point configuration. 
frame lock with a stainless steel lock insert. The knife is riding on cage ceramic bearings, as well as a ceramic detent ball. And don't know if I mentioned, but we have T8 hardware all the way around. Yeah, it looks good. Let's take a quick look at the, um, the blasted finish. Should be the same, except just for the finish. Let's see, uh, let's see how the detent is on this one. This one came centered as well. All right, consistent on the detent. This one seems like it drops a little bit more. Oh yeah, drops a little bit more. But sometimes that's just because of the stonewash finish on that has not broken in yet right on your detent ball. But this looks just as good, man. I'm usually not a fan of the blasted finishes, but they did a good job with this one. Let's put up a couple of knives for some size comparison. Basically a little bit of knife flexing. You know how I like to do. Uh, first up, how about this? The Alliance Design Kraken, which is a Matthew Christensen design. That's been one of my favorite knives this year. Uh, another knife that not many people talk about, gets slept on a lot. Uh, how about this next one? This one you should definitely know about. I can't stop talking about it. And that is the CJRB Echo. So the jersey is smaller than both the Kraken and smaller than the Echo. Let's put up some mo, shall we? Another knife that's not getting enough attention is going to be this one. Classic design with a uh, with a new look to it, and that is going to be the Ferrum Forge Stinger with the button lock apparatus. So we can see here that the uh, jersey is uh, about the same size, uh, just a hair smaller than that Stinger. I got one that should be close enough. How about this? American Dope. We've got the pair of three. That's more... Uh, that's more in tune. That's about dead money with that jersey. So if you got a pair of three, that's what you're looking at as far as overall size. Let's do two mo. God damn it, two mo. How about this legend of a knife? Tonto apparatus, Spyderco PM2. Definitely smaller than that. And then what about this gorgeous specimen of a knife? The Koenig Arius. Way smaller than that. Perfect EDC size for some people, for a lot of people, you know, this is fully capable, can get done what you need to get done in your daily. But more importantly, you know, it's an, he's an, he, it's an American company, Enrigi Knives. Granted, he uh, is using an overseas OEM. He's been in the knife game for years, you know, uh, Enrigi Knives makes uh, fixed blades here in the States. I think he even did a, uh, did one folder as well handmade folder but this was his first production run and i think he crushed it great guy you know he funded this whole project himself he didn't ask us to do a pre-order or anything like that so let's try to support him you know he invested a lot of money in this and obviously he believed in it so you know when you have someone like that it makes it easier to try to support them go ahead and head on over to nriggyknives.com if you have the funds man Give it a shot. I think you'll enjoy it. I'm, uh, I'm enjoying it. And at the very least, give him a shout out on Instagram. Let him know you appreciate what he's doing. And uh, let him know you support him. What do you fuckers think? Are you going to Jersey? Have you been to Jersey? Do you own the Jersey? Tell me all about it. Love you, mean it. Until the next time, cut something. Cut someone. Just don't cut yourself. Stay dangerous, fuckers!